Uganda Police, the State House Anti-Corruption Unit, the Director of Public Prostitutions and CID are to carry out investigations in the alleged theft of iron sheets meant for Kalamoja. At least some high government officials have admitted before the Presidential Affairs Parliamentary Committee to have diverted the iron sheets. This team to expand on the preliminary inquiries that have so far been conducted and also further liaise with the uh, sister agencies like uh, the Office of the Inspectorate of Government and even uh, uh, the parliamentary team uh, that is investigating the same. We, we are going to interact with all concerned personalities uh, to ensure an expeditious investigation. Meanwhile, police is holding five suspects for causing a two billion shillings financial loss meant for printing voting materials, though 600 million shillings so far have been recovered. Of the Uganda Printing and Publishing Corporation, who are, who are going to court, we are charging them to court uh, this afternoon uh, for causing financial loss and uh, for other related conspiracies. And uh, the five suspects we have include uh, Professor Waswa Tom uh, David, who was a former managing director of the UPPC, uh, Mr. Kaseke and the Mujuzi Astrapo, the former finance manager. The director of immigration has paraded foreign nationals for fraudulently attempting to acquire Ugandan passports. Among these is a Nigerian national who adopted the name Dumba. But he had managed to get this passport, the electronic passport, and he was using it to, to exit the country through uh, Busia border to go to Germany, uh, depicting himself as a, a citizen of Uganda. So we, we call upon Ugandans like uh, my brother Serwaji to desist from uh, these acts of criminality where you sell your country just because of very little money. The directorate also has called upon applicants to collect finished passports. So far, the Department of Immigration is stuck with at least 30,000 passports.